Hello, you 10. How are you going? I hope you're doing okay at home now. Here's our second video lesson. We're going to continue looking at composite areas. Um, had some of you ask for some help with particular examples. So we're going to go through those today um, and we'll see how we go. So for composite areas, remember that composite shapes are just shapes made up of other shapes. Now in maths in general, if you've got a hard question, you want to make it easy by splitting it into easier portions. And that's what we're going to do here. Now, when we're deciding how we split composite shapes, we can either think of adding up multiple different shapes, or we can think about subtracting a shape from another shape. So the first thing you need to think of, is it easier to add up the shapes or subtract a shape? That's the main question before we sort of go ahead with any calculations we need to ask. Is it easier to take a shape away or is it easier to add the shapes up? So here's our first question here. We've got this funny looking shape, sort of like a triangle, sort of not. We want to complete the following to find the area of the shape by subtraction. So this particular question actually tells us the method that we're going to use. So we're going to think, how are we going to use subtraction to find this area? And that is a question that sort of takes a little bit of thinking. Now, I can see here, this is kind of like a big triangle. Okay, it's almost a triangle, except we've taken away a little rectangle. So I'm going to call the big triangle A1, and I'm going to call the little rectangle a2 and my area in total is going to be a1 take away the little rectangle a2 so you can see how i've set up that first step of working now i said in the last video this first step what i've just written is the most important step because it tells you how you're going to proceed with the rest of the question we don't want to dive into calculations we want to set ourselves up for success before we calculate anything. So I've got my A1, which is the big triangle, and my A2. So remember the area of a triangle. So the area of a triangle is half its base times its height. And obviously the area of a rectangle is just going to be the width times its length. So for A1, we have a triangle. We can now substitute in our next line. It's going to be half. Now the base is going to be 20 plus 6 because we've got to use that distance plus the little extra bit distance. So we're just going to write that as such, just so that we're really clear. That's the base. And the height is going to be 17 plus three because we're going to include both those things here <clears throat> we're gonna make this look simpler later i just wanted you to see how i've substituted my formula the base is 20 plus 6 the height is 17 plus 3 okay and now we can take away the area of area 2 which is just a rectangle this one's easy the 6 times 3 okay so you see my area one is the area of my triangle, take away the area of the rectangle. Now I can simplify this. So it's gonna be half times 26 times 20 minus six times three. Now at this stage, we can just use our calculator. We don't have to do it all in our head. So I'm gonna go half times 26 times 20 minus 6 times 3. Just make sure that what you've put in your calculator is the same as what you've written on the page. Equals, and we have our area here, 242 meters squared is our final answer. Okay, so set up the question first. Is it subtraction? Is it addition? Substitute your values and then simplify to get your final area. 
Let's have a go at two more examples. We're going to work out whether or not we're going to use addition or whether we're going to use subtraction. So find the area of the shape below. Hmm. It's a funny looking shape. You could see it as a rectangle and a trapezium on top. However, the information that we're given probably makes it easier to think of it as a longer rectangle with two triangles. So the way I'm going to split it up, I'm going to do an addition this time rather than a subtraction. I'm going to say I've got a rectangle like that and two triangles on either side. I'm going to call the rectangle area one. I'm going to call the triangles area two. And my total area equals area one plus two times area two. Because we have two triangles that are the same, I need to do two times. So we've got an addition here. We're not doing a subtraction method this time. We're going to do addition. Now we can do our substitution. So area one is a rectangle. It's going to be six and we're going to do that whole length which is 15. Six times 15 plus okay now two times and it's a triangle so it's going to be half the base which is four and the height which is seven. Okay so you can just go ahead Put that in your calculator make sure it looks the same on your calculator as on the page six times 15 plus two times now obviously two times a half is just going to be one but let's just write it out anyway just so that you know what's going on <clears throat> and then check it's the same looks the same plus is in the right place times in the right place i get 118 centimeters squared this time because that is what our um, units are in. Okay, let's do one more example together. Find the shape of the area of the shape below. Oh, this one looks really tricky, but actually is not too bad. We've got a big rectangle with little circle or quarter circle bits cut out of it. So we're gonna do a subtraction here. We're gonna call this rectangle area one, I'm going to call these little quadrants area two. And so area equals area one minus four times area two, because we've got four little quadrants that have been cut out of our rectangle. Now we can substitute. So it's going to be five times four for my rectangle. And then each quadrant is going to be a quarter of a circle. Remember the area of a circle is pi r squared. So it's going to be four times, but because it's only a quarter of a circle, it's going to be four times a quarter times pi times one squared because our radius for these circles is one. Okay. So now we don't even need a calculator for this one. It's going to be 20 minus and four times a quarter is just going to be one. So it's just going to be 20 minus pi. Okay, now if we wanted to simplify, let's say find the area to two decimal places. We didn't have that in the original question, but let's just say we did. We'd go 20 minus shift pi equals 16.6 let's write it out uh, 16.858 dot 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 and then we can um, round that to 16.86 centimeters squared okay i hope you enjoyed the video just remember set up the question first before you do any calculations think should i think of it as one shape taking away little shapes or should i think it is lots of little shapes added together to make my composite shape that's the secret to success good luck with the practice questions i'll see you in the next video